Uh, today we'll discuss about uh, computer viruses. So what is a real computer virus? A virus is just a computer program like any other program. It contains instructions that tell your computer what to do. Can usually spread itself to other files on a computer, other people's computers. So symptoms of virus attack. Computer runs slower than usual. Computer no longer boots up. Screens sometimes flicker. The PC speaker beeps periodically. System crashes for no reason. Files or directories sometimes disappear. Damages done by viruses. Sometimes display unwanted messages. Some tend to destroy programs or data. Clock computer memory. Hence, sometimes result in system crashes. Format hard disk, damage programs, delete files. Here, virus environments simply replicate themselves. Present text, video, or audio messages, making the user know their presence. Bug ridden, or these bugs may lead to system crashes and data loss. General virus types. While there are thousands of variations of virus, most fall into one of the following general categories, each of which works slightly differently. Time bombs. These are the viruses that are said to activate on a certain date, as the name reveals that a bomb that is set at a time for its activation or blast. These viruses also function in the similar way. Friday, the, th the 13th virus is a famous example. The virus is activated on 13th of a month, which is a Friday, and destroys data on that day. Trojan horses. A Trojan horse is simply a computer program that climbs to do one thing. It may climb to be a game, but instead does damage when you run it. It may erase your hard disk. Worms. Worm is a computer program that has the ability to copy itself from machine to machine. Worms normally move around and infect other machines through computer networks. Worms eat up storage space and slows down the computer, but worms don't alter or delete files. A copy of the worm scans the network for another machine that has a specific security hole. It copies itself to the new machine and starts replicating from there. So boot sector virus replaces or implants itself in the boot sector. This kind of virus can prevent you from being able to boot your hard disk. It infects a master boot record or boot record spreads when a system is booted from the disk containing the virus. Script viruses Script viruses also became quite successful around the beginning of the century. This was mainly due to increase in machines running Windows scripting host, which was first installed by default in Windows 98 and 2000 with Internet Explorer 5.0 and later versions, representing new types of program files but with icons more like that of safe text files. Standalone Visual Basic scripts and JavaScript programs became a popular target of the writers of mass mailing viruses. Next, email viruses. Infected programs or screensaver or Word document launches virus when opened. Use social engineering to entice you to open the virus attachment. Self spreading. After you open it, it automatically email copies to everyone in your address book. File infector viruses. In DOS, there are only two kinds of executable files, COM and EXE. So these viruses affect either COM or EXE or both. Some well-known viruses are Lavi virus. Our Lavi computer risk strikes worldwide. On Thursday, yes, CNN, on Thursday saying I love you was especially hard to do. A self-propagating computer worm has infected government and business computers in Asia, Europe and United States. Origins of viruses. People create viruses. A person has to write the code, test it to make sure it spreads properly and then release the virus. A person also designs a virus attack phase, whether it's a silly message or a destruction of a hard disk. In most of the cases, people create viruses just for thrill or fun. Virus spreading methods. Viruses can copy itself and infect a computer without permission or knowledge of the user attaches itself to other software programs or data files. Virus spreading method spreads from computer to computer. When the host is taken to the uninfected computer over a network such as over the internet or carrying it on the re removal medium, example CD or USB drive. Many viruses are existed in the internet today and new ones are discovered every day. 
spread via downloaded software and data files and email attachments etc. Some old viruses are installed themselves into a disk boot sector. Runs when the user boot on the computer from the desk. Some viruses spread through instant messaging. A virus is an infected machine. It may send a web address link as a message to other contact machines. Thinking the link is from a friend or recipient, we sometimes follow the link to the website. Virus detection. Virus detection can also be referred as protection systems. Protection systems keep a watch for viruses and as soon as they detect one, they sound an alarm. Protection systems can be boot monitors, file monitors, disk scanners, integrity checkers. Prevention is the best cure. Run a secure operating system. Install virus protection software, avail programs from unknown sources, and macro virus protection is enabled in all the Microsoft applications. Never double click on an attachment that contains the executable that arrives in an email attachment. How anti software works, anti virus software works. Detect using a list of virus signature definitions, comparing the files stored on fixed or removable drives against a database known as virus signatures. Some antivirus programs gives you a real-time protection. Examine files as they, they are being opened or downloaded, copied, accessed and transmitted etc. So damage prevention and data recovery. Use backups and optional media like CD, DVD. Uh, they can be no longer affected by virus. Use as OS as a, on a bootable to start the computer if the install OS becomes unusable. Keep your computer virus free. Install reliable antivirus software. The most important step you can take towards keeping your computer clean of viruses. Update your antivirus software regularly. Variations of virus and new ones can be slipped if your software is not correct. Don't automatically open attachments. Ensure that you examine and scan email and other attachments before they run as they might contain viruses and scan all incoming email attachments. Don't open any email attached files if the subject line is questionable, unexpected or the source is unknown, is suspicious or untrustworthy. Delete chain emails and junk email. Do not forward or replay to any of them. They clog us, they clogs up the network. Some viruses can replicate themselves and spread through email as a chain. Be careful when downloading files from the internet. Save all downloads to one folder, test them with your own antivirus software before use. Always scan new files for viruses before you use them. Back up your files on a regular basis. If your computer is on a network, make sure you have security steps in place to prevent unauthorized users putting files on your computer. Take care of your using USB flash calls, CD, GIPs and disks. The more computer flash calls, CD, GIPs call have been used on, the battery, the chance of virus infecting them. Clean them before use. Thank you.